here's we're on page three and we're looking at who's who in blood brothers so first of all we've got mrs johnstone okay she is mickey edwards and sammy's mother and she gives edward up so he'll have a better life okay so if you remember mrs johnstone um she um, married somebody who loved to take a dancing made her feel really special and then of course she ended up getting pregnant and um had lots and lots of children and she couldn't um, afford to keep them all because her husband left her and because she um, wanted to be able to keep her children there was that um, threat if you remember about um, they'll have to take the social will have to take your kids off you if you can't afford to keep them and then of course she got um, pregnant with twins and of course that forced her to be able to have to give away one of them so that she was able to keep all of them and this is mrs lyons she's a middle class woman who longs for a child she manipulates mrs johnstone into giving edward to her and we're going to talk later on in in the series of videos about how she manipulates and she the way that she reads um, mrs johnstone um, and thinks about her religion and her superstitions and her um her working class status she uses all of those to manipulate mrs johnston into giving her one of her babies so we've got mickey johnstone so he's one of the twins um that mrs johnston keeps so he's a friendly child and he ends up unemployed and in trouble with the law and the, the message that Willie Russell wants to give about this is because he was middle, he was um, working class, he was forced to um, go into a life of crime because there were no job prospects. Um, and it all goes back, It all if you unveil it, you unravel it all, it goes back to his education. And we'll talk a little bit more about the different education systems that they had back then as well and how it separated those um, from the working class to the middle class. And then we've got Edward Lyons. So he's the other twin and he's the one that Mrs. Lyons takes. He's well educated and grows up to be a successful local councillor. And the reason again that he was so successful is because he had opportunities. He had wealthy parents. He was an only child, so they had nothing else to spend the money on. Um, he was sent to um, a private school with um, really excellent um, teachers and so because he was able to get a, a quality education he therefore then was um, in the running for a, a much better paid job um, and this is the differences that we look in, in much more detail throughout the book about how the opportunities that these two boys had um, were so different and then we've got Linda um, so Linda is Mickey and Edward's friend and both boys fall in love with her but she marries Mickey um, and we'll talk a little bit more about Linda and how um, her opportunities um, she could have had an opportunity at some point in the play um, but um, we'll look at that in more detail later on and we've got Sammy Johnstone he's Mickey's older brother he's always in trouble as a child and ends up as a criminal and that um, arguably is to do with his upbringing in a working class family and then we've got Mr Lyons he's a wealthy businessman who spends more time at work than with his family and he makes Mickey redundant okay so he's very wealthy however it's that suggests that he's he values his work more than his family and then we've got the narrator. He helps to tell the story. And he also plays several minor characters throughout the play. And then we've got the chorus members. and um, They sing parts of the story in the play. It's some minor characters and do such as the Dolites. Okay, so the, the, the chorus members um, demonstrate how big a family, even though they're not named in the play, you get the idea that the family that Mrs. Johnstone has is a really large family.